When I adopted Michael, he was a sweet kid. We realized that there were definite behavior issues with Michael about a year ago. Michael bit his younger brother and a week later pinched him. Michael's behavior seemed to escalate. As his mother, I was really scared about why he would want to do these things. He started breaking his younger brother's toys. We started to get Michael into treatment, and what I found out was terrifying. I felt shocked, and I didn't really know what to think. Michael drew pictures of wanting to kill his brother. Weeks later, we found bruises on Michael's young brother. I couldn't understand why Michael would want to hurt his younger brother. Michael even said to me, I just want to know what it's like to kill somebody. When I heard those words come out of my son's mouth, I was terrified. We were advised by therapists not to let Michael back in the house with his younger brother because he was on a mission to kill him. Eventually, we had to put our son in a residential treatment center for six months. While he was in treatment, he admitted to the doctors that he had killed 14 chickens with sticks and rocks. Everything seemed to come together. We live on a farm and we kept finding all these dead animals. I am scared that this is a sign of him one day being a serial killer. Okay, um, I'm, I, I want to make it real clear that I have one objective and agenda here, and that is the best interest of all the children involved in this situation. These children don't have a voice. They don't have an ability to stand up for and protect themselves. But you say that you fear that uh, your son is a serial killer in the making. Tell, uh, me, tell yeah. me why. I was told that by a therapist that he'd been seeing. And did this therapist go into any um, explanation of why they yes. would say that? And if yes. so, what was it? She went to visit him at the psychiatric hospital. Is that whenever she told us that? Yeah. yeah. She went to visit him in the psychiatric hospital after doing treatment for three months. Um, and she called me and she said, I need to talk to you. This is dangerous. And she said, he's in there acting. He's conned, conned us. He's in there acting like nothing is wrong and um, just really scared us terribly. Uh, just act like a perfect, perfect child. Act like a perfect child, like he did nothing wrong, and he'd been very aggressive and angry. And <clears throat> and what was her basis for saying that she felt like he was a serial killer in the making? Um, that he wanted, he had drawn several. It was EMDR therapy, and he had drawn out several things about how he wanted to kill his people brother. and his brother, and um, how he always wanted to know what it was like to kill somebody. I didn't know you could predict these yeah. things. <laughs> I know we can look at characteristics that are common among those that have done it. I just didn't know you could predict that. Because yeah. you could predict that, then well, we could stop it, and that would be great. She did say if we corrected the behavior, he, would, he wanted power and control. That's, his whole, that's what he said through every therapy. Um, so she did say consequences to keep him from that. I hate to say she said he's going to be, but that was the road he was headed on.